Hi, it's Sue from Yuli Cats Designs and Yuli Cats World, which is the blog for my site. And today I've got a card that I made for Craft Roulette episode 214, whose parameters were a card of appreciation, candlelight colors, leave it to, and I chose leave it to beaver and i was thinking of ward cleaver the father on that 1960s tv show the last item was the retiform and that is kind of creating a web-like piecing of papers or it could be inking it could be a number of things i chose papers we'll start with a piece of heavy white cardstock that i've cut nine and three fourths inches and i've scored it on one end at a quarter of an inch. That's going to be the front panel. This eight and three fourths by three and three fourths is going to be the main back panel of the card. And then this is going to be our little side flap at four and a half by three and three fourths. So this is the three and three fourths, the height of it, and then the width is four and a half, and I have scored it again at a quarter inch. The designer paper that I'm using is Let's Go Fishing from Stampin' Up. To start, I'm going to be covering the, the front of this panel with some pattern paper. I want to do this side piece here. I'm going to hold off gluing this card on until I decorate the front of it. And then once it's installed, I'll put in the inside piece of paper, which is going to be more of that blue. So I have some of this and I am just going to eyeball it a little bit. That was colored with mustard seed, the distressed oxide inks. Here's about the center. Um, I'm just going to place these so things kind of have. So now I'll just take and glue these down. So a retiform in the art world means that it's kind of a web light design. Do dry a little bit and then we'll trim off the excess pieces. Okay, so we're just going to trim off and this one. We want to do it so. so there's our retiform element. And now we've got the card base. We're going to glue the front onto the back. And we'll put a weight on top of that and we'll let it dry. So we've let that dry some. We're going to go ahead and put the paper on the back. And this way we'll hide all of our seams. Trim off the excess. So on the fold, I think I'm going to try a little of the oxides because I don't necessarily like the white of that fold to show up. So now that I've got my folds uh, covered with some blue ink, I'm going to work on gluing up the inside papers and hiding all my markings. And then we'll work on the other side. And like I said, I always cut my paper a little bit larger than the actual card base so that I can have some wiggle room and in case I don't get it perfectly on there, kind of let that dry and then we'll trim it. So I've almost got this paper trimmed off. So I'm going to be using the Karen Berniston's tea and coffee pop up mechanism, which is, looks like this when it comes out of the die and you fold it So there's two mountains and this one will be a valley. But the unique thing about this one 
is it has this little sort of askew kind of pop-up. And you can see that if you put a mechanism or an arm on this part, it's going to have some interesting movement. So I've actually cut 11 of these so that we can spell out Happy Father's Day. And the way they're going to go in the card is I'm going to take my first one and the second one I'm going to trim off this part and we're going to glue them one on top of the other one like this. I don't want this part to be tucked under there or anything else because it won't move otherwise. I'm also going to have to try to make sure that as I glue these all together that I maintain a straight line. So I'm just going to put some glue right along the edge here and then I'm I actually I'm going to leave a little bit of some space between the two. Put a weight down on those and I'm going to keep doing some others. I'm going to do this all as one big line. Now I'm done gluing them together by twos, and I did my last three one together. So now we'll just keep gluing these together. And again, just letting them rest, making sure that they stay straight, keeping weights on top of them. Before I glue down this into the card, I'm actually going to be putting glue dots on each of these so I can add an arm to it. I've got one glue dot there, and I have cut these plastic arms, so I'm basically looking for the center of it, and that's what I'm pressing in. I'm going to put glue dots on this inside piece right here. Blue dot paper is always so sticky. Now we can always trim the plastic arms if it gets, if they're too long. So I've got all of the arms glued on but you'll notice that there's one that doesn't have it. That's going to be the space between fathers and day. Now, the next thing we'll need to do is to install this. Glue the tab on. Look at that. And then I'm just going to butt that up against that glue pretty dry. Then we'll work on gluing the other half. So when we go to glue this, I'll put glue on all those, and then we'll push that over. And I'm using uh, Limeco pH neutral glue for all of this. Once I get glue on all of them, I'm going to line up the chain here and try to get that as straight as I can. And by having all the tabs, let's just see how... That looks pretty straight. So you can kind of see, you can definitely hear how they rub the plastic. And what we'll do is we'll trim off the ones that we don't need at the top. We'll need every single one at the bottom to make it work. But we only need five at the top. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's really, we have to count it as 11, so if we want to get things centered. And if we have to, we could add one on this space here, but just that comes up at the top. So I'm thinking if we have 11, that means we'll have three left over. So one, two, three, so we will need this one. And one, two, three, so one, two, three, yeah. So I've trimmed off one of the arms, and I'm going to use that to go in this area, put a glue dot on it, 
And now we have five trimmed off the extra ones at the top. So I've got the words up here for happy. We should have all the places for those down below. So I've worked on getting this part of the mechanism hidden and so that it will close. I'm still playing with the Y, but I think I've got it there. And we may just have to cut off this flap because I don't think I can get it to work anymore. I used Karen Bernstein's alphabet dies. So I've been playing with getting all the letters on. You'll notice that the apostrophe S is actually on its own little extension arm off the S. And I've just been working on putting the letters on one at a time, working from one end to the other. The Y, because it stuck out, and because there were some other issues with that extra extension, I did trim it off. So I've put glue dots on the back of the letters, and all I'm doing pretty much just sticking the letters on as we go. And because they're on glue dots, I can reposition them if I need to. And I noticed this is pulling away, so I'm probably going to put uh, more glue and let that dry a little bit longer so that it will. So I took the Karen Bernstein crosshatch labels to make a little spot for a personalized message. So this is the finished card. The So Glad You're My Dad is computer generated and just printed on uh, copy paper and glued on. We've got a place to sign, and of course the main sentiment, Happy Father's Day, which kind of moves like the fish move in the river. The back is pretty much more fish. This is my card for Craft Roulette, episode 214, and the parameters were project appreciation. So glad that you're my dad is appreciation. Candlelight colors, so you've got your yellows. Leave it to, I was going to go leave it to Beaver and Ward Cleaver, Beaver's father. And that's why it's a Happy Father's Day card. And the red form is I cut out the papers and then originally I had it with ink blending on the back, but I didn't like the colors. And so I ended up taking some scraps of this inside paper and just outlining all of the things. And I think that adds to kind of the flow of making it feel like there's a lot of motion on the on the cover. So those are my parameters. And again, the dies that were used are all by Karen Berniston. The mechanism that creates all of these moving letters is 11 of the puppet mechanisms from the tea and coffee die set. Karen did a designer challenge for May. She did a video where she shows how you actually put all this together. And I will link that video in my blog. I hope you've enjoyed this card. Have a good week and we'll see you next Friday for Craft Roulette.